Now, wheel rotation of any vehicle is super duper easy by using a free built-in add-on called Wheelomatic. So let's learn how we can integrate it into our workflow. First, open Blender, then go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and search for Wheel, and you will find this Wheelomatic add-on. Simply enable it. Now, model or import your vehicle into viewport, then select the wheel and make each wheel a separate object. Here, I am also selecting the rim and adding bevels. So when the wheel rotates, it will be easier for us to notice the movement. After that, parent all the wheels with the car. In my case, I am parenting everything with the Empty. Next, add a plane to make a road path. Then press Shift A, add a cube, and place it in front of the car. Go to the Object Data properties, click on Visibility, and uncheck Render, so it wouldn't appear in the final render. Now, expand Viewport Display, set the display as to Y, and rename this cube as Rotation Control. Also, in the Viewport Display, enable Name, so we can see the object name directly in the viewport. Now, select one of the front wheel, go to the Object Data properties, right click on its Z Rotation value, and click on Add Driver. In the Object field, type Rotation, and choose the Rotation Control object. Then, in the type, set it to X Location and make sure space is set to local space. Next, right click again and copy this driver. Select the other front wheel, go back to the object data properties, right click on Z rotation value and paste the driver. And that's it. Now, when we move the cube, the front wheel rotates automatically. To limit the cube's movement on the x-axis, go to the object constraint properties, add a limit location constraint, then set the minimum x value to negative 2 around minus 0.35 and maximum x value to positive around 0.35. Now, when you move the empty along the x-axis, it will stay within this limit, which ensures or the wheel rotates only at a particular angle. Next, select the cube, then the empty, and press Ctrl P to parent it to the empty. And here's the main part. We want the wheels to rotate automatically as the car moves. For that, select all the wheels, then press N, go to the wheel matic add on panel, and simply click on automate. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. The add on takes care of it. Now, when you move the car, the wheels will rotate automatically. I have also moved ahead and animated the vehicle, and by moving the rotation controller, you can even guide the car's turning and rotation. And you're done. By using this wheel matic add on, we have animated the car's wheel with just a single click. Follow Art of Week for more.